Every two minutes, someone in the U.S. is sexually assaulted. This is a major issue for young people since nearly half of the victims are under the age of 18 and 80% are under age 30. The slut walk started in Toronto in April in response to a police officer who said women shouldn't be or wouldn't be victimized if they didn't dress like sluts. If you were coming for a sexy cage fight with <laughs> female panelists, that's probably not looking so <laughs> If you hear nothing else that is said from myself or anybody else, please understand what my shirt says. Rape hurts. Violence hurts. It's very Really? I think, again, there's this desire to pit people, especially women, against each other. <laughs> there was a comment under one of the photographs um, from Slut Walk. Um, if anybody's looked at the pictures, they're familiar with the girl who wrote her whole story out on her sign. And this woman said she took her 16-year-old son and sat him down and showed that. She said, I have never had a conversation with him that said, don't go rape girls. As a woman, I feel like sexual harassment and sexual assault is something that we all have to deal with. Um, if not once in our lifetime, but sometimes on a daily basis. What I do appreciate about this march is that there's not an innocent victim, there's not a non-innocent victim, it's all equal, and to some extent, it's a group of women and men who are standing with marginalized women. Men are also victims, and as you all know, men are also perpetrators. Therefore, we need to form an alliance with women to try to strike back.